C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 3 entitled math magic 3 chapter 6 fun with give and take part 4 page 89 story problem Nisha and Sonu were making story problems. Nisha said 13 boys and 14 girls are in a class. Sonu, can you make a problem on it? Sonu wrote, "There are 13 boys and 14 girls in a class. How many students are there all together?" You can also make story problems with your friends. Look at each picture and the words next to it write your problem below it part 2 36 men and 52 women waiting for their turn picture below shows two queues of people in front of two separate doors in a building your vote counts is written at the top of the building page 90 Questions continue. Part B. We have our midday meal for twenty minutes and play for fifteen minutes. A group of students is sitting and eating at the left hand side of the picture below, and at the right hand side, students are playing in the playground. Part C. The post office is one kilometer from Shahid's home. and 2 kilometers from his school there is a school at the left hand side of picture below a post office in the middle and a home at the right hand side part d bunty has read 27 books and bubbly has read 34 books bunty is sitting and reading a book at the left hand side of the picture below two bookshelves at the middle and bubbly is sitting and reading at the right hand side page 91 count to subtract dolma bought 4 dozen or 48 bananas and gave one to each of her friends 13 bananas were left how many friends got a banana as you know this can be found by the counting forward from 13 it is easier to count in jumps of 10 you can also use kittu's home shown on page 29 to solve these problems 48 minus 13 below this there is a number line starting from 13 and ending at 48 the numbers are increasing in jumps of 10 till 43 and one jump of 5 first jump of 10 from 13 leads to number 23 second jump of 10 from 23 leads to number 33 third jump of 10 from 33 leads to number 43 fourth jump of 5 from 43 leads to number 48 let's count all these four jumps 10 plus 10 plus 10 Plus five is equal to thirty-five. So, forty-eight minus thirteen is equal to thirty-five. Part A, fifty-six minus thirty-seven is equal to dash. Two jumps of ten in forward direction and one jump of one in backward direction are shown below the part A. First jump of ten from thirty-seven. leads to number 47 second jump of 10 from 47 leads to number 57 third jump of 1 from 57 in backward direction leads to number 56 let's count the jumps 10 plus 10 minus 1 is equal to dash so 56 minus 37 is equal to dash part b 60 minus 45 is equal to dash two jumps are shown below 
first jump of 5 from 45 leads to number 50. Second jump of 10 from 50 leads to number 60. Let's count the jumps. 5 plus 10 is equal to dash. So, 60 minus 45 is equal to dash. Part C 80 minus 59 Three jumps are shown below. First jump of 1 from 59 leads to number 60. Second jump of 10 from 60 leads to number 70. Third jump of 10 from 70 leads to number 80. Let's count the jumps. Dash plus dash plus dash is equal to dash. So, 80 minus 59 is equal to dash. Part D 85 minus 63 is equal to dash. Part E 84 minus 69 is equal to dash. Part F 60 minus 20 is equal to dash. Part G 90 minus 50 is equal to dash. Page 92 All the King's Horses Once there was a king who could count only up to 9. Up to what number can you count? The king loved horses, but he could never count all of them. He kept them in such a way that he needed to count only up to 9 from each side. Picture below shows 9 squares arranged in 3 rows and 3 columns, making a bigger square. 3 horses are shown in each square except for the square in the middle. This middle square has some grass but no horse. At the left hand side, a king is looking at this arrangement of squares. Below this, at right hand side, the above arrangement of squares is shown with number of horses written inside them. Assuming this to be a table of three rows and three columns, let's read it row wise. First row 3, 3, 3. Second row 3, dash, 3. Third row 3, 3, 3. Question How many horses in all did the king have? Dash. Page 93. The story continues. One day a visitor with four horses came there. It was getting dark so he wanted to stay there at night. But horse keeper was scared. If the king saw these extra horses, he would be very angry. The visitor said, Do not worry, the king will never know. So, he arranged the horses like this. Picture at the right hand side shows a table of three horses and three columns. First row, two, five, two. Second row, five, dash, two. Third row, two, five, two. Question, how many horses are there now? Dash. Picture below shows two men who are thinking. The man at the left is thinking about the arrangement of horses. At night, the king came to count the horses. Along each side he counted nine horses. Ah, that's fine, he said. Then he happily went to sleep. Page 94 The story continues. In the morning, the clever visitor tried another trick. He took out his own four horses, but he also ran away with some of the king's horses. He left the king's horses standing in this way. First row, four, one, four. Second row, 
one dash one third row four one four the silly king did not find any horse missing can you help him how many horses are now left dash how many of the king's horses were taken away this story is based on a tamil folk story from the book numeracy counts below this a puzzle is given what numbers are we if you add us both you get 100 the difference between us is also 100 the chapter 6 fun with give and take part 4 of total 14 chapters of the book ends here narrator akash ahuja sound recordists batilang lingdo and mayank kumar assistance in production by minakshi kokreti producer vimlesh choudhary this book is presented to you by c i e t n c e r t new delhi india